one thing about doing YouTube, and I've been doing it over three years now, consistently, is you get to go back if you would if you choose to and watch videos that you had made in the past. And I found this video, and it wasn't too long ago. I would say it was the beginning of this year. I, I didn't look at the date. Maybe we'll look at it. I'm going to show it to you here in a minute. But it's scary, man. And it's a video of me. <laughs> and I, it's, still on, it's still on my channel. You can still go watch this. Although I wouldn't recommend it if that's what you're looking to eat. But it's scary. The way I look. I look like I'm close to death. It's that bad. And my color, my eyes, just something don't look good here. And I'm glad I don't live that lifestyle anymore. So I'm going to talk to you a few minutes today about my experiences on the carnivore lifestyle. I'm going to try to do a video, a couple videos a week on this. Uh, and you know, every day, every morning I step on the scale. Yes. I, they say, don't do it. Don't step on that scale, but maybe once every week or two, bull do it every day on this lifestyle. You know why? Cause it will have results. If you are doing what you're supposed to be doing, you will see you've lost a pound. And generally it's about two pounds a day for me. Then you gain a little back with water, but you are losing at least a pound a day. Now, how often do I eat? Well, m probably have breakfast four days out of the seven. Uh, today, I'm going to skip it. And usually when I do that, I, I start getting a headache. About two o'clock in the afternoon, I'll eat a few pork rinds. And I'm good. And then about six o'clock in the evening, I'll cook a steak, chicken, ribs, whatever I'm going to cook. And that's it. I don't snack. That's, that's what I'm eating. The only one you would be fooling if you cheat is yourself. You're not going to get the results. It's going to be another failure like all the others before if you've tried. And it's so easy on the carnivore, carnivore lifestyle to lose weight. It's, I can't believe I haven't done this years ago. Because it's so easy and there's nothing difficult about it. Nothing at all. You just do it, man. Don't say, don't say I'm going to do this September 1st. Do it today. Go in there, throw out your Hunt's ketchup, throw out everything that has carbs in it, and start over. Okay? If you got to go to the grocery store once a day to get something, do it. You don't have to eat high dollar steaks. You can eat eggs. You can eat ground meat. You can do a lot of things with ground meat to make it taste good, but just do it before you know it. You know, I'm, I step on the scale this morning. I'm in the two thirties. Now that is unheard of for me. Two thirties, just, just barely I squeaked in there, but I'm there. Now, let's go look at this video, guys, and this is me this year, this year, and uh, it's pretty scary. Now, you remember yesterday when I was having trouble seeing my mouse? I'm like, why do they make mouses white? Well, I kind of I kind of fixed that. Let's go to the, let's go to this other screen here. Yeah, where's my mouse? <laughs> There it is. That's how you fix things. You just do it. I said I was gonna, and I did it. Let's look at this video clip. I hope you can hear it. I changed some settings. I know I played a video the other day. You can barely, you don't, you don't even really need to hear this. Just look at me. Look at my face. I mean, it's just, let's just watch it here. So I'm going to get this meat fried up. Get the sauce made. I think I'm going to put this sauce in, uh, let's see, a little container like this. Why am I talking? And then I'm going to add some must spices, you know, my regular face. things and such. 
You put a little olive oil and garlic in there. Mm. There it is. It's done. So we're going to make the homemade pizza. Now, I have never made one from scratch. This isn't really what you would call from scratch. I'm not going to do the dough and do all that nonsense. So I just wanted to see if you ever remember going shopping with your grandparents or your parents. I'm going to use my grandparents. My grandfather Look at my eyes. was grocery shopping. He did all the pantry stocking foods at World War II vet. So they they lived like that. They always had plenty of food in the house. But to go to the grocery store, we'd see a pizza frozen. Hey, Grandpa, can we get a frozen pizza? Ah, your grandma can make one a lot better, a lot cheaper. And in the right. days you could. I can't handle but it. You can go to that. Okay. Oh, <sighs> but I'm glad I have these videos. I am glad. And I'm going to use a lot of these videos in future videos. Now, I still got a ways to go. Uh, I got a ways to go. And I don't know what my ideal weight's going to be. Now, what I have done, uh, I have not really focused on working out just yet. The gym is set up. I do a little bicep curls now and then, but I haven't really got heavy into that because for the simple fact, I want to lose, completely lose some of this fat and not turn it into muscle. I want to get my weight down. At my age, almost 60, I'm not going to be, uh, you know, an Arnold Schwarzenegger running around like when he was 20. And I know that, but I want to get the weight down for specific reasons because of my joints because of my back, the lighter that I am, the easier those issues are going to be to deal with. And so by reducing my weight, you know, I'm not looking to be a bodybuilder, but I do want to be stronger and I do want to be in good shape. And I'm young enough. I can still do that and still have a decent looking body. Uh, today I got a new exercise bike coming. Not a Peloton, but it's it's compared to one. It's it's I've seen the videos where they go head to head with the Peloton. They're pretty close. Got the TV and all that. That'll be here today, guys. You'll be seeing that soon. But I am going to begin my daily workouts uh, here in the next week or two. Now, walking on the treadmill, I do that occasionally now. But I have been working out on my building out there. And I am back and forth 50 times a day, in and out, in and out. Don't really need it. As long as you're active, you really don't need that. I will primarily need that more in the winter or not. But the bike will help. Uh, yeah, I got six e-bikes, but there's nowhere good to ride them here. So let's talk about what I'm eating, Okay. Last night, I, 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 I buy, about once a week, I buy these big, fat, fatty pork ribs that I only see in my grocery store. It's the only meat that I buy there. So I cook them out on my uh, Blackstone grill. That is why I bought that grill for this specific lifestyle, because I knew I would be grilling out almost every day. So I wanted one with a griddle, which I don't use much, and I wanted the grill part. Very handy, very handy grill. If I was to cook with charcoal, it would cost a fortune. So I am a big advocate of charcoal grills over gas grills. But for what I need it for, much better. Grilling out a steak, you know, they, it works for me. So I'm not saying you have to go out and buy a new grill. I also, I do a lot of cooking in my air fryer. I put a steak in there, a burger patty. Yesterday I had breakfast. I had some tenderized chopped steaks and I poured eggs over it. You know, the, the yolk is a natural sauce that is awesome. So there are many, you know, you can eat lamb, chicken, pork, just about any kind of meat, <coughs> buffalo, but I don't know where to buy any of it. Some of that stuff I, I, I don't have at my disposal. So I get what I get. I've kind of burned out. I'm not a big seafood fan, and I've kind of burned out on that. But you need seafood for omega-3s. 
So I'm going to start busting open some cans of tuna. I can stomach that and just eat it right out of the can. Maybe about two, three times a week. I've got 800 cans of tuna in my food stock. And it's important that you use electrolytes. I've showed you this before. This is one of them, Keto Chow. You can get Element. Uh, there's a few other brands. I think Redmond's makes one. But this, I'll make a big tea in the afternoon. I put a uh, you know the recommended dosage in there, which is pssst. that's my recommended dosage. And it's a little salty, you know, but it ain't. I kind of got used to that, and I like it. Little salty tea. Other than a few supplements, now I am taking vitamin D. And when you take vitamin D, I, I seen that you need to take magne you get magnesium from the meats, but vitamin D sucks it up. So I am also taking a magnesium su supplement and a zinc. I mean, honestly, I'm only, I don't have them with me, but I got these zinc gummies that a subscriber sent and they're sweet, but it's sugar free. And I just like them. For the taste, man, in the evening, I'll get three of them, and I'll suck on them, and that satisfies my sugar. Now, a lot of people think, well, man, I, it's going to be hard for me to kick the sugar. And I never was a guy to go out and buy cakes or cupcakes and things like that. I, occasionally, I would do that. And then I would always say, yeah, I don't really much have a sweet tooth, but 90% of the things I was eating either makes sugar once it hits my mouth or has it in it. So, no, I didn't have a sweet tooth. I was getting my fill. I mean, you, you see the picture there. Now, I still got a little to go in my face yet. You know, that chin, that's mostly skin now. But it was fat then. Uh, that'll all... That'll all be gone soon because I'm not giving up on this. This is, I, I don't crave vegetables anymore. I just don't. And another thing, when you are living this lifestyle, when you're eating only meats and eating the right things, you're not hungry. You're just not hungry. And I've noticed my portion size has started to get reduced. Uh, I get full a lot faster now. And it should be that way. Now, not everybody has to do this and do this for life. You can use this as an elimination process. Get rid of the weight. Then you can start adding in a little vegetables if you want. Uh, I may do that on occasion, but I just don't miss them. And I love my vegetables. I did. I have a lot of cooking, and I'm leaving all my cooking videos on that channel. Now, that video is on my other channel, Watch Tall Mountain Living. So if you guys have any more questions, ask me. I, As I said, I am new. I'm 114 days in. And I can only tell you what I've experienced and what I am eating. It doesn't cost any more than it did buying the normal menu of, of things that I would buy. Because I would go into the grocery store here locally, and it never failed. It was 50, 60, 70 bucks every time, and I'd go in there every other day. So I think, in fact, I'm saving money. On average, when I go to Aldi's once a week, I spend about anywhere from $100 to $130 on, on meats, butter, eggs. Uh, I go through four to five dozen eggs a week. That's, yeah. Four to five dozen. I use them in everything. And uh, I breathe better. My blood pressure is normal. My blood sugar is way better. Way better. I quit taking all my medications already. I don't need them. And once it, I hadn't been feeling good for those few days I mentioned last week. And I believe it was because I was still taking one metformin a week. I quit taking that. I haven't taken one in six, seven days now. I feel great. So I think that was my issue. And now that all drugs are out of my body, you know, it's amazing. It's amazing. And I'm just going to keep doing these videos. 
because people are interested, you know. People would rather watch a video on here like this than the nonsense that I do. But I like this mouse. I, I can see it. Uh. So if you have any questions, ask me. I'm uh, I'm new to this too. So there are Dr. Ken Berry, Dr. Sean Baker. Those are a few of the many that are on YouTube to watch. So go go to them for the medical questions. I can only tell you what's happened to me and it's a very positive thing i mean it's it's amazing it's an amazing thing and i'm getting to the stage now where the effects are really coming in where i'm really starting to feel good where joint pain i, I just i'm not having it anymore my feet don't hurt as much as they did i'm lighter on my feet when i'm walking man i was just going when i come down a cut a piece of wood yesterday i'm just i've i almost wanted to start running just to see how it would feel because i haven't ran and you know most of us quit running after age 30 you know i had to run a little longer than that because i was still in the military but you know there's nothing wrong with that it will hurt my knees i can guarantee you that but we'll see man maybe a year from now i'll be running sprints who knows I doubt that. All right. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.